hey friends welcome back to another video i know it's been a while but guys i really have not done a whole lot i've been snowed in and bored out of my mind um so i did make it to Publix to shop the bogos before everything kind of like popped off with the snow and ice um and it was just so happened that this week the things that were on bogo were things that i actually needed and then of course i just like stocked up on our snacks and like the water that we like to drink and things of that nature but yeah so that's what i got at publix i think my total was like 63 dollars. so then the snow hit and we were all snowed in <laughs> I decided to take advantage of some downtime and tackle the things that I've been needing to do. So a while back, like what last month or so, I can't remember. But anyway, I did clean all of the carpets upstairs, but I was dreading the hallway and the steps because I don't have the little green machine, the little handheld. I have the larger carpet cleaner that has the handheld attachment. And so coming down the steps I'm gonna have to try to hold the cleaner the attachment and I mean just all kinds of stuff y'all and so I've been dreading it but it really was not that bad but my steps really did need to be cleaned so I thought okay Maya you can do it so I just went ahead and tackled my steps so that they were all nice and clean then the next thing I did was um, I had to come to terms with my new normal of only having one child in the house so my oldest daughter, she did move out on her own. Oh my goodness, y'all. I don't know. So she actually moved out like a month ago, but in my mind, it's just not happening. So anyway, I did need to um, go into her room, which again, it's still her room because I just want her to come back home. But... <laughs> At the end of the day, I know that she has to establish her own independence as a young woman, and I respect her decisions. I'm very proud of her. She is still in school. She's in nursing school, and she works um, as well. She's not working like full time right now because um, her classes in nursing school are a lot. Um, so she um, just does PRN. However, there's such a shortage in the healthcare industry she can pretty much work whenever she wants to all right so then i moved into her room and i while i had the carpet cleaner out i wanted to strip everything um down and just like clean her mattress and you guys have seen me do that before because i did it in my room and then she has like an upholstery type of bed with like fabric and so i did go through and clean that as well and then i just allowed everything to dry so yes guys that is my new normal in addition to a lot of things that i've been dealing with and things that have been happening um i've just i've been struggling with this because i'm so used to having my kids with me you guys know how i am about my children if you've been here then you know i'm a helicopter mom i'm working on it i'm in therapy okay but that is kind of the nuance of things that have been happening in my life and again i'm very proud of her but i am just having a hard time accepting this decision so i have everything in her room like drying right now i turned on her fan everything is nice and clean at this point and it just needs to dry overnight Oh yes y'all I am so sad I'm pretty sure you guys just know I'm struggling right now um 
but yeah so overall during this time where we were snowed in we spent a lot of time like in the bed watching movies watching tv so like downstairs it's pretty much clean um we just were not down there much <laughs> so um you know we would just kind of get up shower put on clean pajamas <laughs> Um, you know, of course we watch movies, play games and, you know, entertain ourselves outside in the snow. Um, I did put down some like ice melt on like my, like front, the little porch area, but like my yard, like, as you can see, it's still just all snow and ice. And then also in the back, um, it's still a lot of snow. The sun did come out and I do get more sun in my backyard that I do in the front so it did melt like on my patio area but the yard is still a lot of snow and underneath the snow it's just ice so that's what makes it so bad I know a lot of people are like girl in the north like I go through this all the time true however in Tennessee we always get sleet which becomes ice before it snows and then we have tons of hills and curves and we also don't have the, the necessarily um, the necessary equipment to clear our roads which you would think that we would invest in that as you know a state by now um, some areas obviously east they probably have that but in middle Tennessee we just don't I mean they'll clear the main roads but if you the side streets like you're pretty much on your own I literally put in a request to have ice removed um in my subdivision because i live down a hill and up another one and like you're just stuck like you cannot until it clears like you would be a fool to um even try to get out on the roads anyway so moving on i just need to go ahead and start cooking we did stay up pretty late the previous night so this is more like brunch for us because it's just much later in the morning um we just stayed up watching tv and watching movies and so mckinley requested waffles that is like her favorite thing she loves waffles um and typically when i make waffles it's usually like it's just, you know, it's like Micaiah's here and then like Michael usually comes over if I make waffles. And so I had to actually look at the box to know what the um, measurements were for the ingredients when you're making such a small amount because it was just the two of us. So that's why I'm like really measuring because normally I don't measure, but I really didn't want to overdo it this time. But anyway, so I'm just whipping up the waffle mix and I know some of you are like, okay, where's your mixer? You know, things of that nature. Where's your KitchenAid? Mm -mm, no, I was not raised like that. Your left and your right hand is your mixer. You just got to get the elbow grease in there and you know, just handle business. You see what's happening on the screen and it's going to be nice and smooth. Is this what you want? 
so um, breakfast is done or brunch rather and I like to just clean as I cook so that I'm not stuck with a ton of dishes I just like to you know rinse them out put them in the dishwasher when it's full I'll start it that's usually at night um, with us being snowed in we're eating all three meals at home so I have think I've ran my dishwasher every night um, but so you know how when you clean your carpet after it dries it feels rough or something I don't know <laughs> <laughs> so I just like to always run the vacuum so you just saw me vacuuming my steps and then I did need to vacuum my room um, I I did make my bed when I got up because I knew that if I did not I was going to get right back in it and nothing would be done today so I did go ahead and vacuum my room because that was all that was needed McKinley was still in her room relaxing I think she was actually like talking to some of her friends so I didn't want to disturb her um, but she does a really good job of like cleaning up her room I'll go in there and do like my mom clean like once a week but she has watched me clean enough and she actually enjoys it so she does a pretty good job so of course it's time for laundry our laundry pretty much consists of loungewear and pajamas because that's all we've been in this week we have not gone anywhere so I'm just getting everything sorted so that I can start a load life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out sun is shining but the rain is welcome to friends are nearby don't need another view time is not on my mind but then it's you oh i love it when the love comes around and then i remember all things must pass so I did need to go ahead and get everything in my guest room back in order. So I had washed the curtains and everything. So I was just going through putting those back up. Um, and then, like I said, I'd already like cleaned everything. So I'm going to go ahead and put um, the bedding back on there. Of course, when you move into your own space, you don't want to take anything. So you want all new stuff. And so, of course, she didn't like move any of her other stuff other than like clothes. And there's still some things that she has here. But again, I'm not rushing her to come pick them up. <laughs> so it all works out. Anyway, so I got the curtains up and now I'm going to make the bed. Um... And just, I don't know, y'all. I guess this is like my little guest room at this point. I don't even know how to feel about it, y'all. Watching this back just makes me want to like sob, like crocodile tears. I just, I'm just not okay, y'all. I want my kids to be with me like forever. They're my babies. I don't know. It just bothers me. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. must pass but i'm not gonna wake up wake up i'm not ready let me have another day don't wake up wake up keep it steady cause i'm happy i'm not gonna wake up oh, no, no. I'm 
just folding my towels and I'm um, watching the Baltimore and Houston game and it's so hard because I love both of the quarterbacks I am just 
I don't know. I like both teams. And so I'm like, for whoever has the ball, that's who I'm rooting for. But I definitely feel like Baltimore is going to take it. Um, and I really do want to see Lamar Jackson go to the Super Bowl. They'll probably win. My guess is that it's going to be Baltimore and probably San Francisco. But you all let me know <laughs> what you think in the comments. Um, that's, that's what I think. But again, you know, I'm not Vegas or anything. So let me know what you think. I am going to just close out the video after folding this load of clothes. I do want to thank you all for coming back and supporting my channel yet again. And just I can I'm going to thank you in advance for all of your kind words and comments because I know you all feel my pain and you all are always just so nice and sweet and supportive. So thank you all for watching. Catch you in the next one. Mwah.